Am I the asshole for not sharing my toys with my best friend's daughter? So my best friend Riley recently just got a part-time job after several years of staying home with her daughter Ella. She and her husband Joe haven't been able to get the childcare situation totally sorted out and needed a babysitter last Saturday, so I agreed to watch Ella for the day while Riley was at work. I've been sort of the cool aunt ever since Ella was born. I typically will bring small gifts or activities whenever I know that I will be seeing her, which isn't all that often. Ella is a smart and engaged kid and I like to give her things that will interest her and keep her occupied. One important piece of information here is that I'm a very crafty person. I have a small online store and also work with local businesses for selling and distributing small batches of my product hand painted wooden figurines. I thought it might be fun to introduce Ella into my hobby business, so I ended up bringing 10 unpainted figurines to choose from, a few tubes of acrylic paint, and some paint brushes. We immediately got to work and Ella was so into it. She had an absolute blast painting her turtle figurine. But when it came time for me to leave, I started packing up all of my supplies and Ella became visibly upset. Riley insisted that I leave the supplies behind so that Ella could keep and play with them. I disagreed, and basically said that I have no obligation to give away any of my belongings. I personally feel like I was more than generous by babysitting Ellen on my day off I do have a regular 9-5 job as well and providing a fun activity for her. Riley pointed out that I have a pretty large stock of items at home, which is true, but still letting Ella keep the supplies and figurines would have been a loss in profit for my business. Ella cried when I didn't let her keep any of the stuff and Riley argued that I should have never brought toys over if I wasn't willing to let Ella keep them. Now Riley hasn't been responding to any of my messages or calls and I can only assume she's still angry over this whole thing. I thought I was doing something nice by babysitting and providing a fun activity. Am I the asshole for not letting Ella keep my crafting supplies? Edit just clarifying that I did let Ella keep the one completed turtle figurine that she painted herself. Everything else I took back home with me not the asshole. They wanted free babysitting from you and they wanted you to give them all of your craft supplies, for free? You were more than generous by providing babysitting and doing a craft with Ella. Don't let them take advantage of you. Ella has to learn the difference between a gift and borrowing someone's things. Wow. Not the asshole. Does Riley start dismantling the swings when she leaves the playground? Edit thanks for the votes replies and awards I'm telling everyone that this was the comment that broke reddit yesterday. Solid not the asshole. Crafting supplies like paints and brushes are expensive, not to mention that everything you brought is used for your online business. Tell Riley where she can buy supplies for Ella, but I wouldn't have left any of those supplies behind, either. They're not toys. They're inventory for your business. Not the asshole and Ella is old enough to understand that. Not the asshole, completely. Why do I have a feeling that your friend will suddenly forgive you when she needs you to babysit again? Not the asshole. The kid is understandable in crying, that's just what six year olds do. The mom is supposed to explain how we were lucky to use them and how wonderful it is. Not act like the six year old. Not the asshole. She got to keep the figurine she made. This is no different than if she had gone to one of those craft places where they let you make your own project. You get to use their supplies and make your own project, but at the end of the two hours, you get to take home only your project, not their supplies. Mom is being silly about this. Not the asshole. They're yours, obviously there's no issue with taking something that belongs to you. You could have an endless supply of items, that doesn't mean the child is entitled to them. Tell Riley to buy her kid some supplies, not expect you to just hand yours over. Not the asshole. You didn't bring gifts, you brought an activity over for her to do and she enjoyed it. You have no obligation to gift her your supplies for her to do the activity when you're not there. Your friend doesn't sound very grateful for your help. 
not the asshole, mom should have explained to her why she can't have them all rather than confronting you about it in front of her. You are the villain to Ella now even though you didn't do anything wrong. It's awfully entitled to expect someone who babysat all day and provided an enriching activity to leave all extra stuff when you allowed her to pick from an assortment. Art supplies are expensive that is your business this is why people need to tell their kids no more often. Not the asshole you were kind enough to be there on your day off and take care of someone else's daughter. The real R is your best friend that thinks that her daughter is entitled to what you own. Just because they're a kid doesn't mean anything they like at a store they can buy. She's going to raise a brat if she continues it. Not the asshole probably shouldn't put toys in quotations made me think of something else. But no the things you brought were more supplies than toys and they shouldn't have expected you to leave things like paints brushes and other art supplies behind, maybe the figurines she painted but that's it. Not the asshole and what the actual F is her mom thinking? Not the asshole she got to pick out and paint her own figurine. You are not obligated to leave any supplies behind. Sounds like it was a lot of fun and something that your friend could have kept in mind to get her daughter for gifts. Not the asshole no these are for my business should be enough. If she challenged you on that then she thinks the world revolves around her. Not the asshole. Your friend sounds entitled. I guess that her kid was disappointed, but learning how to manage disappointment is part of being a human. She shouldn't have asked or expected you to leave your items there. Not the asshole. Your friend is using you. Fun auntie is way too often code for free childcare. Oh but name of child thinks of you as her fun auntie won't you come and spend some time with her? No. Not unless you're there. Because then it's childcare, and that's a job. Not the asshole. Don't beat yourself up, you let her keep the figure she painted. It can be hard for a child to stop doing something fun, but it's up to the parents to work through it, not you. I'm sure you'll hear from your friend soon when she needs free childcare again, which you should decline based on the last ordeal. Not the asshole. Your friend should make clear that these are items you have for your business, so you can't give them to her. She could even add that if her daughter loved it so much then she could get some crafting materials of her own with her pocket money for B-Day in exchange for chores. Did they pay you for your time, or did you do this as a favor for a friend? Either way, absolutely not the asshole. Taking your supplies only and leaving the turtle Ella worked hard on is without question not an R move. Those are your supplies and you use them to earn money. If you took the turtle then yes that part would be an R move. On the plus side, you know have a great idea for future presents for Ella. Not the asshole as you explained, these were items from your business and would be a profit loss for you. It wasn't a kit you bought from Walmart to give to the girl. That would be the last time I ever babysat for your friend. Nata. You let her pick and finished and keep hers. It is not your responsibility to buy toys for her anyways.